love to get your your take. There's, I think, nine uncapped players in the squad um, for, for the Autumn Internationals. Um, how are they settling in? And particularly, uh, what are you seeing from Emily Robinson and uh, Sadia Kabea? Um, so we haven't been in camp yet, so we've still got that to, to come. So there'll be a lot of new faces to, to welcome in and hopefully um, make them feel settled and get up to speed um, pretty quickly with with being part of the Red Roses group. So I'm really looking forward to, to seeing some of those. And, and like Mitch has said, like having watched a lot of and played in the games so far this season, they're all performing really well. And I think that's the that's the exciting bit is that they're uncapped. Some of them are quite young, but they're coming in in some incredible form. And that's all we can ask for, really. In terms of Emily Robinson and Sadia, well, Sadia, I um, obviously have the, the pleasure of playing um, at club with. I think for me, I've just been really impressed with her over probably this last 12 months. You know, um, she was down at Wasps last year and was regularly standout player and she came into camp in the in the summer for our pre-season um training and excelled and um fortunately she came to Loughborough in the summer and she's just been an absolute quality addition you know um in all our games and they've been pretty tough games um to, to be honest playing in them but she's always been a standout performer you know she's uh she is a real traditional seven where she'll be in and around that breakdown making a nuisance of herself generally like getting a turnover or disrupting it one way or the other but her ability like her running ability and to to make line breaks to to get offloads is is yeah pretty incredible and I, I can tell you you don't want to be tackled by her after uh, being hit with her a few times in in training um and then Robbo Emily Robinson yeah again Probably was really unfortunate last year with with injury, and um, probably came at the wrong time with her. But again, as a as a young player that kind of came into to camp last year and just really got a head down, like a really gnarly back row in a, in a really good way, but does so much like hard unseen work, and um, whilst also like being a, a a great standout player week in week out for Harlequin. So. Um, she was with us in the summer as well and, and did real well and just a real good person to to have in, in the team and has come in and been competitive and she's got a head down and just bought into everything that is about the Red Roses and it's nice to see that she she's finally over over the injury that she had and yeah has, has started this season season really well. Awesome thank you and, and Simon following up on that um, it seems like there's a lot of scrum halves in the squad uh well we've got we've got three uh as such three probably out and out ones uh we've got Flo Robinson obviously who's playing she's been playing 10 for the last couple of games uh at, uh, at Exeter so I think obviously a few things we've got to cover number one it's a specialist position so you've got to make sure you've got your strength in depth across your specialist position and that's one of the things that we really we worked on uh we 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 highlighted and worked on over the last sort of three, four years since the last World Cup, i.e., you know, uh, similarly why we brought Connie, Connie uh, Powell into the, to, to give us a third out and out hooker. But Le Leanne's obviously been out for a while injured. She's, she's pretty much ready to go again over the next couple of weeks. She'll be, she'll be returning. Uh, we want to make sure we have a look at our strength in depth in terms of our, our nines. Uh, Ella has played outstandingly well for, for Saris. Uh, Obviously, she, she was on our radar a couple of years ago but when she was at Loughborough. And she, she had a, a bad injury and that kept her out for a year, but she's back now. And and it, it's that bit where you, you want to recognise players who are catching your eye. And uh, she's definitely been catching our eye. So we want to get her in. We want to have a look at her. Uh, could definitely be one of those players who just, over the course of 12 months, you know, just goes really well and, and, and makes it to the World Cup. Uh, so, so we're just looking to to sort of create depth as much as anything in, in Matt. You know, and there's a couple of players in there who, who you know, we've talked about playing across a little bit. When you go to a World Cup, you need a couple of players who can who can you know diversify in their positions. So Claudia gives us that. You know, she can play wing, she can play uh, scrum half. Leanne very much out and out. I think Ella dropped onto the wing for the last part of the service game at the weekend. Flows in nine stroke 10 at this moment. And we're working closely with Susie uh, down at Exeter and talking how, you know, we, we can we can help to develop Flo's skill set and experience. 
uh, whilst obviously not compromising what 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 uh, Exeter are trying to do because that's massively important for them, you know. And uh, and obviously she, she's not a contracted player as such, so you know we've got to, we, we're usually respectful of that. Uh, so yeah, it's that's a that's a nice comment to her actually, Matt. You know that we've got strength in depth at nine. Uh, <laughs> you know it's 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 something we've probably not been able to see say say uh, previously. Absolutely, yeah. And and you talked about players catching your eye. Um, there weren't many players more eye catching over the summer than Holly Aitchison. What what are you looking for her to bring to the squad? Yeah, again, you know, Holly, fantastic player, your great talent. Uh, when she when she surfaced, uh, obviously you've know, gone into the sevens, done some time in the in the sevens, and had some great experiences in there. I think again, Holly's Holly's another player who 10, 12, 13, uh, can give you really good options. You know, we th- th- there's unquestionably. Uh, not just room, but probably a need for for at least two of those players uh, when you go to a World Cup, and, and probably uh, you know maybe maybe three, two in your backs, one in your forwards. Uh, so you're really excited to to see how how Ollie goes. I think she's she struck up a great partnership with uh, with Zoe Harrison at Saris. So you know, and you, and you look at those little partnerships, and you go, yeah, you can see how they work. Uh, but you know, we got we got a lot of. Again, a lot of strength in depth again across 10, 12, 13, probably 10, 12 more than anything now. And it wasn't that long ago. We were looking at that position. We're going, we're looking a little bit light there, uh, but we've invested some time. Players have surfaced. We've 12 more months to go. So, yeah, we got a, you know, it's a fairly happy coaching team at the moment. And when we look at the squad. That's what we like to hear. We'll have to both of you. Good luck for the autumn. Catch you soon. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate Cheers. that. Cheers.